we become one here at Camp North Star. We gotta take a chance, take a class, make a friend, and find our way out of the cabins and into the sun. These are the summers that will come to love. Take a chance, take a class, make a friend, and find our way. big part about camp is you choose who you want to be. And you get to pick what you want to do. It's not assigned to you. You're really picking your own schedule. You're not doing things you don't want to do. <laughs> or possibly even water skiing as well. Snorkeling in the lake. I play cricket. Soccer. The evening programs. Community days are awesome. Activities. Stuff you never even heard of. Carnival day. Carnival day. White water rafting. Pool hooping. Windsurfing. Eco challenge. Eco challenge is such a fun day. I think for probably everybody here. It's just about taking that first step and when I did I realized I could overcome the challenge of actually getting in the water and getting up on a wakeboard or water ski. Wakeboarding, I was really bad at it at first but then I got better and then I tried um, water skiing but I actually got up. It was just a blast. I conquered a semi-fear of heights by taking ropes courses. So that was my personal challenge. Overall, I've become a better person. And that just feels amazing. We help them discover themselves. Did you finish, by the way? Show them what they can be. The strength and the help of all the friends they make here, they become, I mean, wonderful people. Who my challenge was to become a better person, to learn more about myself and I have developed as a person and as like a personality in the best way possible. I'm always scared of heights. There's a thing called the wall and it's like an 18 foot high wall. I did it in my first try. Last year I overcame that, something that was like over 20 feet in the air. It was really hard but we all did it. But once I got to camp everyone just cheered me on. It makes me feel good knowing that I can like do something like that is hard for me to do. I feel pretty good. You really have to experience it. It's not like you can say, oh, I did this, I did that. It's not about what you did. It's about the experiences. Rocks and ropes are really fun. I thought that we had one of those fake rock walls, and but it actually was a real rock. And I got to the top, felt really good with everyone cheering me on. And you think like, oh, I'm never going to finish this project, or how am I going to learn how to do this? Just recently, I did stained glass and I finished something. I grind it and solder it together, and there's a lot of work to it. And I am now actually pretty good at it. It's actually really easy once you get the hang of it. It's heatherball, which a lot of our campers are very good at, but I'm not. <laughs> Wait, is this recording? Yeah. Oh, it is? I always go to the basketball court, so um, I'm only four foot four, just to say, but I just really like to do that stuff. You can just be yourself. You can be who you want to be. Because nobody judges you. And looking back, I'm going to look at this as a time where I started to come into my own. It felt really good to do it. Finding out that I could go the extra mile and like give 110%. Try things that you've never tried before. You have to be there and feel what I felt. The thing about home is that you were born there and you live there, but camp, when we all get here, we have a common ground, and that is that we made the choice to come to Camp North Star. The people you meet here, you can come here one day and not know anybody. You become close with them even after like a day. Literally consider them my family. So I tell my home friends, like, yes, I love you guys, but my camp friends are the friends that I really chose for myself. They're just the reason that I come back every year. A counselor came up to me and brought me into a group of friends. And, and these friends, I've been best friends. The thing I like the most from this camp is the people. I've made so many new friends. I live with them, I know them, they're my friends, we can trust each other. And trust everyone around me. 
There are people who you can be yourself with. Whereas at home, everyone, you know, judges you. Like, I have to be what they are. At camp, it's not like that. Even if you're that really weird kid at school that no one wants to hang out with, when you're at camp, all that stuff is left behind. You really don't have to try to impress anyone. The friends I make here are different than the friends I make at home because they're loud and crazy and fun. And you are part of this 160-person family. You actually get really good guy friends here. Instead of being just with girls all the time, like it's a different atmosphere with boys too, which I like that atmosphere a lot too. And the girls are not allowed in the boys' cabin. No big deal, there's no big deal that there's girls here. What? Every year we also meet new people. From different places, from France, from Spain, Kansas. They bring all of their kind of culture. We can learn how to speak another language. We bond closer. They're from all over the world. From all different countries. From America. So much fun to just write to my friends in England. It's like the best feeling in the world. It's like we're all a big family. I'm really happy that I made friends from a lot of, a lot of countries. So basically I've learned here not to judge people. I can be myself here. This is the one place in the world where I feel completely myself and completely at home. You know that you're gonna be friends with them, like, forever. Yeah. Here we are, being Hi. best friends. My camp friends are my best friends. My best friends are at camp. Forever friends. And it's cool. I live in what's called the village. All the older campers put together. 10th and 11th graders. Um, and every year there's something called the village trip, which is a night out or a day out for just the village, nobody else. We go to Funtown Splashtown, and we go whitewater rafting. This year, a few days ago, um, Sue came on the loudspeaker and asked for all the village campers and counselors to come sit in from the main office right over here. and. Um, we were all like, it has to be the village trip, it has to be the village trip. And we ended up going out on this two hour boat ride around the harbor in Portland. Our cabin life, it's amazing to be with your friends all the time. We always make it so that we have the best time possible. Your cabin has people in your age group. We listen to music, we hang out, we talk. Oh, also the food is delicious. Well, the bagels are really good. I was really picky with what food I ate, and at camp, they kind of like just give you the food, and I tried so many different types of food, and now some of my favorite food is from Camp North Star. And we have French toast a lot, and I love French toast. Cabin activity, because like that's when you get to like hang out with your friends. We're here. I mean, if you're in my cabin, that'd be awesome, because I'll be <laughs> like, hey guys, what's up? I mean, I'm not shy. We usually just play a game of cards, and we all just chill in our beds. Like sit on my bed, read a book and we'll joke around and we'll, and we'll tell each other what happened today. In your cabin, you really get a chance to bond with kids who are your age, so it's really nice because then you have like friends for life. It's kind of like a place to let go. Sue's friendly, she's easy to talk to, she's a people person, and Jay's just a cool guy who roams around camp. It's nice to talk to, he does sailing and participates with campers. He's just a great guy, great couple. I think what's unique about Camp North Star, I, I always say to parents, is Jason and I and our staff. Um, you know, camps around the country, there's hundreds of thousands of camp that do what we do, and we all do it well. Um, but our personality, our passion for our kids here at North Star, our staff's passion and who we pick to work with our kids um, is, is what we take the most pride in. Sue knows everyone's name, and I don't know how she does it, but it's amazing. You get older sisters, and it's really fun. You can tell your counselor everything because they're like trustworthy and they won't tell anyone. I can totally trust my counselors. As long as I know they trust me. They're great. They really care about you. They're always there for me. If anything's wrong or if you need help, they always fix it. People I look up to um, and really respect, and it's great. They're like my um, family. Looking at my counselors and what they get to the experience they have, I'd like to experience that myself. Every counselor here is cool, nice, funny, 
everything you want in a counselor, in a human being. Uh, my counselors are awesome. They're both really nice. I have Kelly and Jana this year. The counselors are really helpful. You can talk to them. And they'll listen to me. And I have, like, so much respect for them. I grew up at camp. I learned how to take on responsibilities and care for others and myself, um, how to respect other people. You know, and these values are so powerful that you can use for the rest of your life. And to be able to give that to other children is so rewarding. Like you sit down with Sue and you have like big girls heart to heart and everything like that and then you get like cookies and she brings in this big like five gallon thing of ice cream and I'll get bowls of ice cream. It's so much fun and like I mean everything can, can be solved with an ice cream social and I think everything in camp can also be solved with talking to Sue. I started off as a camper here at North Star, and then I was a CIT for two years, and now um, this is my second year it's on staff, and it's just a really great feeling. You form such like a bond with these people, a real family tie, and I mean, that's what this place is all about, just close family connections. I love working with children. I love seeing when you tell them something, they get it, and their eyes just light up, and I love helping to mold them into what they can be and in the future they'll help mold others in the same way that we help them. I'm going to be a counselor so even though I'm progressing I don't feel like I'm leaving. So I'm a counselor in training so clearly I want to be a counselor so much because being a camper I realized how much counselors can do for the kids. Some of those people that I have idolized I am now on staff with. Big camp song here is Lean On Me because I think a lot of the campers and the counselors are always there if you need to lean on someone. If you need to get something out or let something out, we're always there for you and we always will be. Just one kid, that's all it takes for them to remember you for the rest of their lives. A simple thing as, as, as water ski, um, seeing the smiles on the kids' faces, you know, when they, when they're, when they learn a skill that they, that they, you know, are maybe unable to, to experience anywhere um, but here. The tightness between the staff is I mean, he's just like a family. It's really a feeling that you have to experience for yourself, and you will more than once if you work here on staff. And we have the Riches Awards that we give out to the kids, which is respect, independence, caring, honor, and spirit. And as a staff member, we, we look to role model those core values to the kids. To have a reason to be a better person, um, it's just the best feeling in the world to know that somebody looks up to you and wants you to help them. You know, my parents sent me here when I was, when I was a kid. I, I've grown up here, and it for sure holds a special place in my heart. Camp North Star to me isn't a place, it's a feeling. I feel it all year round. When school's ending, I know camp's coming, and I just get really excited because I know I'm going to have a blast every year. I always joke to my friends, I'm like, yeah, the water you're paying $1.50 for, I'm showering in, so I'm going to go to camp now. I describe Camp North Star to my friends as the most exciting, awesome place on earth where you can do anything you imagine. All the funny stories I tell my friends are about camp and um, I tell them that they should definitely come because it's probably like my favorite place in the world. It's nice to think that like there's always like this place that's going to be there. I think about walking through the camp and stuff and how much I miss it. I can't really describe it. It's just something that they're missing out on. I think about how much fun I've had and how much, like, ex how excited I am to come back next year. Cabin activity, seeing all my friends, all that good stuff. And sometimes it makes me sad because I want to go back, but I always know that I'm going to come back. If I could, I'd go here all year. It's amazing, and it's just, like, a dream come true.